Hey everybody, it's John here, placing the dry belt on my little Murray 10 horse here. It's my first movie, so this one's going to be probably pretty terrible. Hopefully it turns out okay and you learn something. So I tried to do this already once, it didn't turn out very good. Made it about a half hour and the belt shredded off again. Ugh. Let me show you what I did to replace it, this time the right way. Um, first off, if you have a bagger, take it off. Um, get it out of the way. Secondly, I dropped the deck all the way so you can see you gotta get way up under here. So you need all the room you can get. Yeah, I'm not a very big guy, but my arms didn't really fit too good. So the first thing I did, one, remove the axle. Not remove it, but loosen it up. So you can see this, there's two bolts. One, two, you got nuts underneath, both do the axle. The nuts are under here, half inch wrench, half inch socket. Same thing on the other side. You can see that decent, sorry about the light. Then the one that's not easily found is the one in the back right there. Gotta loosen that up. Take the bolt out. And you just use a little jack. You got a little brick here to hold it up a little higher. Worked out pretty good. Just get it up so that the screws are just out of the way there. That should be enough room for you. Then what you gotta do, ugh, reach under here. It's kind of a pain to see. But right this bracket here, you gotta loosen that up. So if you see there's a little bolt hole right, right up here. Hold on once. Get it to focus decent. Anyway. Hold on one second. Right where my finger is here, there's a little hole. I can't see that. This isn't turning out too good, but anyway. Right, right in there, maybe you can see it. Well, anyway, the bracket, this, this here, you gotta know, loosen this up. It's sitting against the pulley like that. When you take that bolt out up there, then it's loose. That's what you want. Now there's a spring. If you go to the other side here, the spring clips right in here. You got a little pick tool here. Like that. Grab it around there, pull it off, let it inside. I took the spring out, this is what it looks like here. You can just leave it loose up there. So, I already got the belt halfway installed now. If you go underneath here, you can see, kinda. What I did was, pull the belt out a little bit for you. you go around this, take the big main belt off that turns the blade on the deck, mowing blade. You take your little belt, you go around this big pulley, Gonna pull these tabs. This is the bracket we loosened up earlier. Put it around there. Pull it up and over. This has got to be kind of out and then shimmy it up over this tube bar, or whatever you want to say. Then you can slide it back around that pulley. If you go to the other side, right now I got the parking brake on so the tensioner is out. You look up under here now. Here's the same belt. Can't really see that. Maybe just the light a little bit. It's a little better. You can see the belts up here. Just put it around that. That pulley. It's easier if you got two hands, but put it around there. You can see the tensioner kinda over here. It's behind this plate. 
put the belt around that on the tensioner give it a little tug tighten it up put it around there and this is the drive pulley here so you can turn the axle up a little bit one handed it's not easy but shimmy it up under there a little bit Yeah, let the axle down a little, or let the chassis down a little bit. But anyway, once it's kind of situated there, you can see I kind of, I had the belt around this bar last time, and you can see it rubbed the paint off and it shredded the belt. It wasn't real optimal. Once you got it around there, then you can start to, uh, start to put it all back up. Go in reverse order. So first thing would be that, put the big deck belt back on. You can put that bolt back in the bracket, put the spring back on, slowly start to bring the axle up, line those bolts back up in the back. Put the dry belt, there's the dry belt back on that big pulley there, around the bottom like you found it. Like I said, you gotta, it takes a little effort to get the axle in straight, you're gonna have to line those bolts up that you took out, those ones on the other side you have to push this bar underneath here and try to line that up but one thing when you go back up you gotta watch out for this that's gonna get in your way so make sure that you get the axle in the right spot so that clears it and make sure the belt's on the inside of that you don't want the belt in between, or that little piece in between the belt and the pulley because that'll wreck your belt so if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Try to address them the best I can. I'm not a lawnmower mechanic. I'm just a mechanical guy. I like to work on my own stuff. I don't like, I don't trust people working on my stuff. So hopefully this is the first of a bunch of videos. Hopefully I can show you a thing or two. I look at the videos a lot and uh, you know, feed off other people's information and hopefully I can kind of give back a little bit. So hopefully this helped you. Thanks for watching.